The Kidney Clinical Research Unit, or KCRU, was founded in 2004. Uh, the founding director, Dr. Amit Garg, brought together a coalition of partners that included the hospital, the university, uh, the hospital foundation, of course the uh, medical school and departments of medicine, division of nephrology. With the recruitment of Dr. McIntyre in 2014, we broadened the focus to include uh, dialysis delivery and advanced development of multimodal imaging. We attempt to do high quality, high data resolution work in patients with the diseases of interest, mainly using imaging. A large portion of this is actually not about creating new treatments, but about recognizing the harms in the treatments we currently deliver and then deliberately engineering those harms out. We go from the very basic approach of deciding, can we predict how people will respond to their treatment before we even put the patient onto a dialysis machine for the first time. Now to do that, we've been developing sophisticated mathematical models that can simulate the response to dialysis in a patient's heart, in their kidneys, in their liver, and their brain, and allows us to run virtual dialysis sessions and fine tune the treatment as a preamble before we ever expose them to those harms. We use MRI scanning at a variety of different magnet strengths using coils and hardware and codes that are developed in-house and are not proprietary. And we also use ultrasound and newer forms of ultra-slice CT scanning that give resolution and the ability to measure blood flow in organs very accurately, again in a very swift and low radiation dose way for the patients. We've also wanted to ask ourselves the question, not why are our patients feeling sick and miserable, but actually why are many of them still hopeful, outgoing and positive? Patients take a variety of different kinds of cameras and create images in an entirely undirected way from their everyday lives rather than the time they're actually on dialysis. And that's generated us remarkable insights in terms of what's actually important in people's lives. I'm most excited by the ability to generate innovative discovery and that's done most effectively when different parts of our research program work together on a cohesive fashion and actually generate insights that would not be accessible by any one part of that program on its own. So currently I'm working on three different areas looking at how to optimize dialysis care these including use different type of uh, anticoagulations. Also the looking at optimization of fluid management, specific looking at other tools that we can assess in fluid status, including looking at the liver and other organs. Finally, um, looking at markers that can help assessing dialysis adequacy. At this point, I'm focusing on the, the, this two rare disease, uh, looking at the long-term outcomes of um, the their vascular burden in these populations. So TTP use with dial has mortality rate of close to 95% in the first 30 days. However, with the current treatment, including plasma exchange and other immunotherapy, the mortality rate has reduced significantly. So my goal is looking at why is, or the mechanistic reason why these patients has higher mortality. And uh, mainly uh, the cause of mortality is cerebrovascular and cardiovascular disease. So by using advanced imaging technique and also biomarker, perhaps we can uh, find out some important causes of this area. We've brought together a group that contains researchers from nursing backgrounds, people who've come from mathematics backgrounds, medical biophysics, artists, and doctors. And the collaboration between these groups provides us with outcomes that were not immediately apparent when we first put it together, but we've allowed that to grow organically and produce products that we couldn't have predicted. I am really impressed with what's conducted at the London uh, Kidney Clinical Research Unit. The Lilybeth Coberto Kidney Clinical Research Unit conducts anywhere from 50 to 70 clinical trials at any one time, looking for better treatments for our patients who suffer with kidney disease. Our community in London believes in our research and is willing to invest money. We're so fortunate to have amazing donors such as Domino's Pizza Canada that has contributed millions of dollars to our cause. The CEO, Mr. Michael Schlater, and his wife, whom the unit is named after, Lily Beth Coberto, believe in what we're doing, and every year they contribute heavily to our, our charities. 
We have cont cont contributions from lawyers, from banks, uh, from the Finch family, and from, Mer from Mercedes, from a lot of big companies that again believe in what we're doing for our community. And the reason for that is our research is not just being applied at the local level, it's being applied at the national level and at the international level, so it's something we're very proud of. What I also love about it is they really take into account the patient's experience. Patients sit on our decision committees, they are participating in our research, and without them we wouldn't be able to find novel treatments. So it's indeed a huge honor, it's been a huge boost to our institution. Really it has put us on the map. Our, our research is being published in high impact journals, uh, our researchers are receiving huge national and international awards, and it's all because of the um, commu sense of community and the, and, the, and the sense of belonging that exists at the Lilybeth Coberto Kidney Clinical Research Unit.